excited hi so i just want to show you guys this project that i'm working on i'm super excited oh god i hate when i get like hair in my mouth gross i, I wanted to show you this new thing that i got um that i'm using to um i don't know if you guys have seen this i love little like tools and stuff and like building stuff and so i'm super excited because i'm using this tool I knew I had hair in my mouth. Gross. Um, I'm using this tool. It's called a Dremel Stylo Plus. And it helps me to carve things and to do little cool trinkets and stuff like that. And so this is the first one that I did. Just I guess I, um, so you can see it. This is the first one I did. I used this stylo and it's got a little drill. It looks like this. Okay, and it has different pieces to it so that you can do different things. So it has like little, I don't know if you guys can see the little pieces in there. And it's super exciting. Um, and you can carve glass. I haven't tried to carve glass yet, but I'm so excited. <laughs> um, and so I, I have, this was my first one. So this is my first one. Okay, and I was able to carve this up. Um, with the little stylo thing and then and I have well you guys can't see what it says but it just it I marked it so that I can see where the pin was so later on I can actually go carve in here deeper but um, it looks really cool I don't know if you can see like how detailed this actually is I love stuff like this I love stuff like this now I'm about to show you what I've been working on recently okay yeah <laughs> Okay, so I've been like carving this. I didn't carve the original thing. Um, I actually found, I found this bear um, and I found it from a wedding, but then like, it was like really rugged and really like too much. It was just too much. So I started using um, this little thing right here where I could just turn it on. I can change the, the pieces out um, and I can literally, it's like I'm giving this wood piece a tattoo. So I can like go down the side and make it so that it has like lines on it. I don't, hey uh, David, yeah. can you bring me that other wooden piece? So I use this and I just, I just do like little lines and stuff on here. No, the wood, the wood piece that's on the uh, rack over there. So what I'm doing right now is I'm carving in the lines and I'm going to show you guys what this actually looks like. And I'm going to show you one that I am just about done with. But if you can see, this is how the lines look on here after you use this. So this one, this one is the one that I just recently completed and I put a bunch of lines on it. But this is wood, you guys. Just so you, this is wood. This is wood. And this is what I was able to do with the wood. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But you can see the lines. It's got beautiful lines. And it is a tree. Okay, it's a tree. And I used... Thank you, honey. I used this. Now, this has, like, several different pieces to it. So, like, this one will fan off, like, all, any of the extra stuff. And it kind of get, like, the flakes and stuff off. And then it has this whole bag of stuff that you can use. And it's so cool. Like, have, look, at, look at the little wrench that it has in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at the little wrench. It's super cute. And I have been having a blast. So I used the sander. Um, I used the sander. So I have been using several different tools. This is just a handheld sander. And all I've been doing, I took this to the bottom of this. So that I could get this kind of sanded look. And then what I'm going to do after I've got it all sanded down. And I've got it carved. And it looks nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stain. I'm going to stain it. And then I'm going to put epoxy. Epoxy is basically kind of like um, when you're painting a canvas, you use gesso. And it, it dries clear. So I just use the the um, the stain. And if I don't like the way the epoxy looks, I can just... Sand it right off. So that it looks nice. Okay, if you, you can just sand the epoxy the epoxy right off if you don't like the way it looks but this is really smooth 
So the cool thing is, is this, this uh, Dremel tool, uh, instead of me having to use this for like all of it, if I wanted to get specific areas, then I would just use a certain piece. So I take this piece out. You have to press this button down and then twist this, pull this out. And then if I wanted to use this piece, I would just load this up just like you would a drill, right? Just like you would a drill. And now I have a new piece. So I'm gonna show you what this one does. Oh, this is just so, this is so fun. <laughs> so if I'm coming in here and I wanna shave off just a little bit, and I don't, I really don't wanna do like too much, but this is just like to get it looking smooth because there's some pieces in here that are a little rough. And I just take this and I sand it down. But look at how smooth that makes that. It looks really smooth. It looks really, like, super awesome. I have been having so much fun. Like, this is so fun. Like, I feel like a little kid. Like, when I was a little kid, I used to, like, building, like, tree houses and stuff. And I would, like, go outside and be like, come on, you guys. Come on, let's, let's go, like, let's go build a tree house. Or let's go like build this or whatever and I feel like this is taking me back to my childhood when I used to like go outside and figure out different things to build and stuff like that. So all I, all I have on my chin right now is this. I'll put this on if I'm doing um, too much uh, of the sanding part. And I'm like, okay, I don't really want to make, I don't really want to get the dust in my eye. Um, so I tend to make sure that I don't do that because, and I also have the... You know how you wear the glasses? Uh, I don't like doing that because what happens is when I have the goggles on, it fogs up because this part up here isn't really that covered. And so um, it, it gets it gets like into my freaking nose. I can't have that, right? Okay. So I, I'm, I'm actually going to do one live. I'm going to do one live while you guys are watching me so that you can actually see what it looks like to actually create something. I'm gonna do that right now. For those of you that are interested in woodwork, um, this is so fun. This is so fun. I feel like super like a big old kid. Um, and I know that you guys see that I'm like gushing right now, but it's so fun. So what I'm gonna do is I have, I have a piece prepared over here that I want to, um, what? Somebody said they can't read lips. You can't hear me? What? Oh no. Okay, I, I'm in no way making fun of English people or British people. I just am a huge fan of sounding English. I used to do that when I was a little kid. My sisters and brother, well, not really my brother, but my sisters would be like, hello darling, would you like a cup of tea? No. Why not? Like, I would just, <laughs> I'm just being goofy. Okay, so I've got this piece right here and both sides are really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do this in front of you right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fun for me. Okay, so for those of you that are interested in doing woodwork, this might actually be really fun for you to watch. I'm gonna see if I can get this further back so that you can actually see what I'm doing. But I'm about to do something right now, okay? And I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with the other one, which was basically a tree. Um, so I have this, this size right here helps you to uh, engrave. So here we go. Y'all ready for this? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go. Let me know if you can actually see me.
So it, you can see that it's starting to etch in here. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm doing the outline. Okay, so I want to know where, what range I'm working in. And so right now I know where the tree's at. I'm just going to do the line for um, maybe making some really thick branches. So I'll have this branch come out. And then have maybe some branches come down. And make it look really cool. Okay. But now I know where I'm at as far as what range I'm working in. I want a big fat branch over here. And notice I'm not really trying to control where this is going. Okay, so I'm I'm not really controlling where this is going, but you can kind of see where the lines are taking place. And it's going to look basically it's going to look just like the other one i know i showed you the other one but i'm going to show you the other one again um and then what i'm going to do is in about five minutes this one will be outlined and then the one that i just showed you still has to be shaded that's what excuse me that's what this tool is for this tool is for and and then we have this tool which kind of sands it down i'm going to show you what this piece does really quick you said, can you show your wooden painting again, please? Yeah. Sylvia wants to see the wooden painting again. I will be right back. I'll go get it. Okay, so this is the this is the wooden painting, you guys. This is what it looks like. This is what I'm what I'm working what I just started working on right now. This is what it will turn out to look similar to. And just to zoom in so that you can see all of the details, okay? So, this is what the bottom portion looks like. And you can see basically how I did that and then how I got the edge look I went around it with um, this tool this tool right here but this is what it's going to come out looking like okay um, but I've been doing woodwork for the last I want to say about a uh, last month um, of really just trying to make smaller things uh, and so there's that one then I have this one this one where I etched in some really cool lines Okay So you can see kind of like what that looks like and Then this one dude. This one is so fun. Oh my gosh So I have like I have okay, so I have uh, probably like two more of these that I'm gonna be working on but it, if you can't tell what it is, it is a bear. It is a bear. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. It's a bear. And so I'm etching in the details on the back of the bear. And then what's going to happen is, is I will glaze this little puppy over. Um, and it will be complete. It'll be complete. Now, I'm not really sure where these holes came from, to be totally honest. I know that I can fill the holes with epoxy, so I'm not really like super concerned about it, but I'm not really sure why they're there. Now remember, I got this, I picked this piece up um, at a store and I decided, you know, it wasn't even really a store, it was like kind of like a, a, a um, what do you call it, flea market. Yeah, flea market. And I was like, ooh, that looks like really fun. And so I decided that I would work on that and make use of what was already created and now I have a bunch of pieces um because we have a ton of wood you guys a ton of wood a ton of wood pouring out of my ears right now and <clears throat> I figured instead of just chopping it up instead of getting rid of it and like wasting it or getting rid of it that I would just carve something out of it or make something out of it so I'm super excited to like show you guys what it looks like after the fact um but after the fact like I know that it's gonna look bomb.com because I've literally been working on it for not too long, but it's gonna look good. I know it's gonna look good. 
I honestly want to listen to some music and just jam out and like <laughs> make a mess with the sawdust. This is so fun. I, I like I said, I haven't really felt like I could work on too many things like this because there's a lot going on. But this has been really um, fun and easy for me to do. If you are looking to do some woodwork, um, what I would suggest is to get this little tool. This little tool is amazing. This can cut through glass. Not cut through, but like carve glass. It can carve metal. It can carve wood. It can carve leather. Oh my gosh, this is like my favorite little toy now. <laughs> and I'm so excited to, to like have it and be working on this. Um, but this is just really fun. Now, this, just so that you can see what it looks like when you after you carve it, you see how these these things are like these things are like coming up. Um, you can get that off by doing this. Now I'm about to show you how I did the the base of the tree. Okay. Okay, now you guys can see that it's like starting to look more like a tree. It's starting to look more like uh, like the base is, is being shaded in. Um, once I get all of this uh, carved out, you guys will see, you guys will get to see like what the tree actually looks like. So there's other one that I did. The other one that I did, it turned out really good, but I feel like the tree was kind of short. So like the trunk part is kind of short and I wanted to like bring the trunk up a little bit to like right here. So this other one, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the trunk up and make it so that it's like a longer trunk. Because I really don't think that, you know, I was thinking about that <laughs> when I first started on the other one. Because I was just like, ooh, this is so fun. Like, I'm just going to like do something. And then it turned out pretty good. Now, this, the color of this board was not actually this color. What I did was I put um, a stain. What happened was, what had happened was... I was actually going to use this board as a shelf, um, but then I didn't end up using it as a shelf, but I had already put the stain and everything on it, so I decided that I was going to carve the wood after it had been stained. So this other one is not stained, and I think that you guys can see the difference between the two. This one's stained, and this one is not. Um, so this, this other one is kind of like a raw board, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stain the... The one that's not stained, I'll stain it afterwards just to see what it looks like. Because I don't know what it's going to look like. I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> but this is so fun. It is so fun. I'm having a blast. Um, and I will show you guys. I will post a picture of what this looks like after I'm done doing all the carving and stuff like that. Um, because I think this one is definitely going to look different because it has this like kind of knot right here. I think this is really cool. This is really cool. I'm just taking advantage of what the wood actually looks like and then using the tools that I have. But, oh my gosh, like I'm so excited. This is so fun. If you don't have one of these little tools, like I would strongly recommend getting them. You can get them at, uh, what is it? Lowe's or the hardware store, like a, um, <clears throat> what is it? What's my, Home Depot, um, there's a, a couple of them that you can get them from. Ah, the sun is on my face. Can you guys see my face? I look really whitewashed right now. No. Oh, okay. There we go. Hey, you can see me now. Um, so I'm super excited. This is just what I'm doing 
on my downtime. I'm taking a break. And this is what I love about being an entrepreneur is I don't have to, I don't, could you imagine doing this at work, like stopping your work and then like working a woodwork at a regular nine to five? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. So I'm just having a blast. Um, I think that at the end of all of this, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably going to list these for sale. Why not? I have no idea what's gonna happen. But people like wood and they like art. And so I put them both together and now I'm gonna make these into masterpieces. I have no idea what's gonna happen. But hey, y'all are on this journey with me and you're gonna see what happens because I surely don't know, <laughs> okay? Um, did I miss anything? Did you guys say anything in the comments? Um, can you make it, can you make some hear, see, speak, no evil? figures for my sand tray ooh, ooh 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 okay i'm so dorky like oh my god okay so ooh ooh you just gave me an idea oh my gosh i feel you gave me an idea ooh wait ooh 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 okay wait i gotta take y'all outside wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute okay so I gotta show you, I have something that's similar to that outside right now. <laughs> so I can make this, I could totally make this. I never thought about that. You guys are giving me ideas. You're giving me ideas. Okay, my husband's like, why is she so weird? <laughs> Check this out. So I have one, I have one right there. Which are you? I don't even know if I can make something like that, but I could, I could definitely try. So we have logs like this, and then what I would have to do, hmm. Cause so this is definitely what you're talking about, um, but I wonder, Daddy? I wonder. Daddy? I need some wood pieces, but I have. Look at all this wood, you guys. I have that I'm working with. Oh my gosh, there's so much of it. There's so much. So I have way too much wood to work with, but what I'm going to, um, I have these pieces. I have these pieces that I'm going to be working with, these raw pieces. These are actually pieces of wood that we have chopped up. And I'm about to show you guys what it looks like when you work on a raw piece of wood. Oh, this is so exciting. I feel like I feel like a little kid at show and tell. Okay, I gotta show you guys what this looks like. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I gotta put the camera back up on my tripod and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to work on a piece of wood. Yes! <laughs> I feel like a little kid, yay! Okay, so this is an actual piece of wood. Y'all saw me go outside and get this sucker, okay? So, I, I feel like I wanna put some music on or something. But I don't wanna get in trouble for like copyright, so I probably won't. Okay, so this is a piece of wood. Now, I know y'all can see that, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to sand it down and then I'm gonna use this Dremel thing on it so that you can see um, how it works on natural wood. This is that I literally chopped this myself. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I would do just so you guys could do the same exact thing. Here we go. I'm putting my mad scientist mask back on. I don't like these things though because like the nose smashes in and then like anyway, there we go. It's supposed to have a metal thing on it so that it protects your nose, but I don't have that right now. So, oh well, too bad, so sad. All right, this is gonna get loud. So if you don't like loud noises, then press mute.
check this out. It has termite, it has, uh, it has termite um, trails on it already. So all I'm gonna do is emphasize that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sand this down on this side because I want to keep that. I can actually use uh, the a little uh, part of the tool to accentuate that. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm not gonna sand that down the whole way. Um, but this is this is all you would do is you would just sand the piece down, okay? So once you get it to the point where it's smooth like this, you see how it's smooth? No splinters. Okay. Then you would come in with the little tool. This right here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I don't really need that on when I'm working with the smaller piece. But what I'm going to do is show you what it looks like when you put a groove in there. And you guys are actually going to see what this looks like. It's so awesome. I'm like, I've been in love with it ever since we got it. Because I'm just like, oh my gosh. Check out what I just did. Can you guys see the heart? <laughs> I just carved a heart in there. Now, that is the first layer. But then what you would do, you would take this part out. Remember I told you you got to hold this piece down, this button right here. And then you twist and pull this out. You pull this out. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece. Okay. It looks like it has like a ball at the end of it. You put this back in here. You load that back up in there. Now, by the way, you can actually take this piece out too. If you unscrew the whole thing. See, this piece comes off. And then it has this bit, like a, this bit in there. That can come out too. I don't typically mess with that because I kind of like it the way it is. Plus, I'm learning it. So, I don't want to take that out yet. Okay. But what I'm going to show you what it looks like when you carve with this part um, into the wood. Now, this is natural wood, by the way. This is not like I did not go to the store <laughs> and buy this wood. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carve the cool thing about this part is that you can actually shave off layers layers you guys that's so cool with natural wood i noticed with natural wood that isn't compressed you can actually see every little bump and every little knot so if i were going to sell this commercially like they'd have to know that this is natural wood and that is not something that's going to look like all polished up like pure one okay you're not getting pure one <laughs> with this but it does look really cool for natural wood okay <sighs> <laughs> this is so awesome okay now you can see that I went in and I carved deeper into there um, whereas before you couldn't really see that I carved all the way in there I could even go deeper than that um, but for the sake of not taking 10 million years, I'm not going to do that. Um, ah, no. My battery's finna die, you guys. I got to get the... I'm about to show you what else this thing can do, but I'm, I, I'm so excited that I need to contain myself because I realize that this is, you know, it takes time to do all this stuff. 
but I gotta go upstairs and get my charger. And I'm gonna be huffing and puffing when I come back downstairs because I know I'm not in the best shape. But who cares? I gotta go get the charger. I'm so I'm so excited to show you guys all this. Now I've been doing this for a few days, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know how much stuff I can make with this? And then I can like, ooh, okay. So this right here can it can carve into something like this. What do you think, guys? Should I try it? I don't know. I think I'm gonna try it. I think I'm gonna carve glass today. <laughs> Look, if I slice my hand up, don't worry, my husband is here. He can rescue me. <laughs> I'm not gonna slice my hand. Just saying. So, there's a tool in here that says that you can carve glass. Do I believe it? Maybe. But then again, maybe not. Let's test it out, shall we? I wouldn't mind testing to see if this can carve glass. Let's test it. I feel like a mad scientist. <laughs> Let's test to see if this thing can carve glass. Okay. So it says, I just want to make sure I use the right one because I don't want this cracking on my hand. That would suck. I like my hand. I like both my hands. So maybe we won't get too adventurous. But So it has this manual that you can look and see which pieces do what. So it looks like this. This is the English version, and this is the Spanish version, I think. Um, now, it says... Oh, the piece that I was using can actually... Hmm. Okay. So, it says that a smaller piece... A smaller piece will let you carve glass. Now, here's the piece of glass, y'all. It is dirty, though. Okay, <laughs> here's the piece of glass, and I'm about to carve this glass and see what happens. Now, if, if this don't work, not only will I slice my hand, but I'm going to be mad and I'm going to have to take this back. I don't think that's going to happen. But this is the piece that it says, can you guys see that? This is the little piece. This is tiny. Guys, I have no idea what's going to happen. This could be bad. This could be really bad, but I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to do it before David comes back in because he's probably going to be like, Eve, don't be slicing up your hand with that thing. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, you guys, here we go. I really hope this works. I like all my fingers and toes. And I really hope this works. Okay, Lord, Lord please protect my hands. Here we go. I'm gonna carve glass. Oh my gosh, I'm kinda nervous. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna slice my hand. I'm like, okay, here we go. Here we go. It's working. Wow! 
It worked. 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 Oh my God. Check this out. Can you see it? Wow. Can you see where it says welcome? Wow. Wow. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cool. Okay, now that I know that this is possible, I'm going to be carving glass. But for those of you that did, that weren't here to see it, it I carved welcome. I carved welcome into the glass. Do you see that? It's right here. I honestly don't really want to run my hand over it cuz I don't know if there's glass chips. <laughs> that is so awesome. It says that it carves through metal too. At some point I will check to see if it does that, but for now, for now let's not. Let's not. He's fine. He's okay. Babe, check out what I did. You want to see what I did? I carved glass. Oh. Cool. <laughs> uh, that's pretty sweet actually. It is. It's so cool. Like I got carved glass. <laughs> This is so awesome. All right, you guys, I've been on here for a long time. What I'm gonna do is actually, I'm going to carve the tree that I told you about. Um, and, and here's the thing. I'm gonna open it up for bids if you guys want it, okay? This one is what it will look like. This is what it will look like, okay? And it's carved out of wood. It's I think it's plywood, but I'm not really sure. But it's carved out of wood. It probably won't be framed, so you'll have to get it framed. I do have frames large enough to frame this, but I'm not even really sure how to do that because I don't usually work with wood. I usually work with canvas. But this is freaking awesome. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so this is what the second one is going to look like. I'm going to post a picture tonight um probably in the next hour or so um about what that one turns out to look like and then i will just let you guys bid on it if you want to if you want to grab it let's see what you guys said althea said this is awesome it is <laughs> <laughs> you guys laughing at me? Oh no. Ooh. Okay. You guys are gonna say, this is so badass. You're onto something. I'm so excited for you. What is the name of that tool? The name of the tool is um Dremel D-R-E-M-E-L Stylo. Okay, Dremel Stylo. This is what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like and it's just a tool that you can switch things out like I have been able to create some really neat things like this is one of the things it's just a block and it says uh, do the work okay I have another piece of glass that I'm gonna be carving into I, I mean now that I know that I can carve glass like I just carved into glass oh my gosh like <laughs> I just carved into glass so I'm super excited about that um, I'm going to be making more of these little bear things and I'm going to be showing you guys what it actually turns out to look like. I'm super excited about it. Um, you really don't even, you don't even need that many tools. This is what the box looks like um, and it shows you basically the same thing that I was just doing, carving a tree. Um, and you can add on uh, pieces and they have like a whole baggie of pieces and you don't really, it doesn't look like, it's a lot but it is, it has at least... Um, 10 different pieces in here and they do different things um, but this is so cool this is so cool I I've always wanted to do woodwork and I always thought like you know that's a guy thing I don't know if I want to do that and I don't know but I love building things you guys I love building things um, we're gonna be creating like four inch thick um, table like uh, wooden slab tables and we're gonna be creating some things out of this wood so I'm really excited about it but for this one, this one, these bears will go up for bid after I'm done sanding them down and, and uh, staining them and putting, you know, the finish on it. And then also with these, uh, with the tree art, 
the wooden tree art that one is going to be going up as well so if you guys want any of these if you want any of these if you are like oh my gosh that's pretty cool i want to have something like that in my living room or whatever hit me up like i'm gonna be on facebook so i'm super excited to share with you guys what i do i hope i don't cut my hands <laughs> and i'm gonna hop off of facebook and i'm going to continue with doing this woodwork i'm so excited like i feel like a little kid i'm so excited I'm so excited. So I will post a picture and I will let you guys see what the end result of this wooden one that I started is. And I will catch you later. Okay. If you have any questions about the tool or about anything that I just said, drop a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you. All right, you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.